Hello everyone, today we're doing a little how-to video for something that I wish was around a long time ago, and that is a how-to video for creating sponge bunnies uh, for both, you know, the adult and the little baby bunnies. Um, the sponge bunnies story is one of the more uh charming tricks and magic but uh the original like goshman sponge bunnies aren't made anymore and so the only options you have are like the royal ones which are red and the uh the magic makers ones which uh, eh. uh it, it's nicer to have just a white rabbit here's how you make uh, sponge bunnies. Uh, I'm going to, I needed to make a few of them, so that's why I'm making this video. Uh, and this, it, it just all fits together. What you have to do first is you have to go to Hobby Lobby and buy just a big piece of polyfoam. Um, and then you make a little template of the size rabbit that you want. This is the other template that I made. Um, and you trace that onto the foam to get this just as well. Because this is one inch uh, poly foam, I made it a little thinner by uh, cutting out like this piece and then wedging it between my fingers. And then I just clipped off uh, a section of it to make it thinner. Now, truly, I do not have this down to an exact science. You'll probably tell me in the comments that I'm doing it wrong, and you're right. But once you have that little uh, shape, uh, traced onto the sponge. You're going to need two scissors for this, some larger scissors and some smaller scissors for some detail work. But then you just start clipping. I'm doing this over a trash can, by the way, so that way the pieces just fall right into the trash can. And the more little clips you make, the more uh, detail you're going to get. Okay, so we've cut a bolt, the uh, larger uh, pieces off. Of the bunny so now we can do some of the detail work and to do that the first thing I do is to make the ears is to go right down the center there the little scissors so that you get the two little ears and I make the little feet again just another cut little feet and then I make kind of like a V shape between that cut so that way that ears are more angled I'll show you what I mean see how the ear has the angle to it now And the same thing for the feet, just a little, like, nothing big, just a little uh, slanted cut. Right? And then you're going to, like I said, make a bunch of little cuts to round off all the edges. And you're, of course, going to want to trim away uh, any where uh, the, 
the marks for the, uh, the stencil. I'd like to point out too that when you buy polyfoam, it's such you get such a big piece that you have enough to experiment with. So don't worry if your first bunny comes out looking like garbage. Um, here's what mine looked like on the first go. So. In the end, this is what I got the bunny to uh, look like. Of course, I can always do more detail work. Um, to get the eye, you don't just take a Sharpie and then just make an eye. On the stencil, or on the template, I poked out, I don't even know if you can see it. For the eye, I poked just a needle through that spot just to get a tiny little hole. And then I put that up against the foam and then took a Sharpie and made a little dot. So that way the eye, you get a little tiny eye like that. And for the larger bunny, the process of course is exactly the same. Uh, yeah, you, you don't have to have the bunny standing up. You can of course design the rabbits however you want them to look. Uh, I, I think that's it. Uh, I can always do a follow-up video, or if in the editing, editing bay, <laughs> um, I, I miss something, I'll just go back and fold it in. Uh, but I hope you find this video to be of use. Uh, I might try to put in the original instructions for the Goshman bunnies in here, uh, but if you couldn't perform sponge rabbits before, because you couldn't get you know, good quality rabbits, you can now make your own, uh, which I hope is valuable to you. Uh, all right. See you in the next video.